Hey guys, it's Chris. From the stealthiest aircraft in the world to the most popular, here are nine amazing military aircraft. Number 9. Grumman F-6F Hellcat The F-6F Hellcat was an improved version of the Grumman's previous F-4F fighter aircraft. It had a top-rate climbing ability, reaching an altitude of up to 37,000 feet at a rate of 3,410 feet a minute and could take off reliably from aircraft carriers. This fighter plane was heavily used during the U.S. Navy carrier offensive during World War II, entering the war in September 1943 and ultimately winning three-quarters of the U.S. Navy's Pacific aerial victories. While flying a Hellcat, Navy pilot David McCampbell shot down nine Japanese aircraft in one day. The heavily armored F-6F could handle considerably more battle damage than other models of the time and flew well at various altitudes, making it an effective aircraft against both high-level bombers and low-flying enemy planes used in kamikaze attacks. The Navy carrier offensive during the later part of World War II is likely history's greatest example of the use of decisive air power. Hellcats and similar aircraft such as the Douglas SBD Dauntless Dive Bomber and the Grumman TBF Avenger Torpedo Bomber destroyed the Imperial Japanese Navy's fighting power. Number 8. McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle this twin-engined, all-weather, American-built tactical fighter aircraft was immediately recognized as the world's best fighter plane when it came into service in 1976. It was built by McDonnell Douglas, and we know them now as Boeing. Early in the Vietnam War, tensions developed between the U.S. Air Force and U.S. Navy over future tactical aircraft. Secretary of Defense Robert McNamara pressured both agencies to attempt to get the job done with common aircraft to the best of their ability, even at the expense of compromising performance. After much back and forth, it became clear that a superior air fighter was needed and the government began to budge and slowly became open-minded to its development. The company's design for the F-15 Eagle was chosen out of a series of proposals in 1967 by the U.S. Air Force. This aircraft was indeed a superior fighter. With zero losses and upwards of 100 aerial combat victories, it's one of the most successful modern fighters. Although the Eagle is an American-made aircraft, it has been exported to various other countries, including Israel, Japan, and Saudi Arabia. Number 7. Lockheed Martin Boeing F-22 Raptor Developed by Lockheed Martin and Boeing, the twin-engined F-22 Raptor is an extremely advanced tactical fighter. The integrated avionics and superior performance make the F-22 stealthy and highly maneuverable. It was inducted by the U.S. Air Force as an air superiority fighter and later evolved into a multi-mission fighter aircraft. The Raptor made its first flight in September 1997, and the first F-22 was delivered to Nellis Air Force Base in January 2003. In December 2005, it formally entered Air Force service. This advanced aircraft employs sophisticated air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles and possesses technologies that make it a top-notch aircraft for a wide array of missions, such as surveillance, reconnaissance, attack, electronic warfare, and signals intelligence. And now for number six, but first, be sure to subscribe to World List if you haven't already, especially if you're new here, and make sure you click that little notification bell. Number six, Dassault Raffle. Described by French manufacturer Dassault Aviation as an omni-role fighter, the Harafal is a twin-engine aircraft designed to perform a wide range of duties, including air sovereignty, deep strike, reconnaissance, and airborne nuclear deterrence. It's operated by the French Air Force and Navy and features the latest avionics and smart sensor systems, as well as the ability to carry a 30mm cannon air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, nuclear and anti-ship missiles, and a range of laser-guided bombs and ground attack munitions. The aircraft comes in two variants, including the Harafal-C, or the single-seed version, and the Harafal-B, 
which is the two-seater. The concept for the Rafale was originally introduced in the mid-1970s, when the French Air Force needed a new generation of air fighters to replace their aging fleet. Production officially began in 1986, and the C-model prototype completed its first flight on May 19, 1991. The Rafale's maiden combat deployment was during Operation Enduring Freedom in 2002. The aircraft has been used in a number of combat missions in Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya, Syria, and Mali. It's used primarily by the French Air Force, the French Army, the Qatar Air Force, and the Egyptian Air Force, and has been selected for purchase by the Indian Air Force. As of January of this year, 175 Rafales have been built. It was announced in 2018 that a new aircraft, which will replace the Rafale, as well as the Eurofighter Typhoon, is currently under development. It's called the New Generation Fighter and is being designed by Dassault Aviation and Airbus Defense and Space. The new aircraft is expected to have fully replaced these aircrafts between 2035 and 2040, so we got a bit of a wait. But they do seem to have their planning together. Number 5. F-4 Phantom II The McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II was originally developed for the U.S. Navy as a tandem two-seat, two-engine, long-range supersonic jet interceptor and bomber and was designed to be an all-weather aircraft. It was first put into service by the Navy in 1960 and was adopted by the Marine Corps and Air Force after proving to be highly adaptable. This supersonic fighter has a top speed in excess of Mach 2. That's more than twice the speed of sound, and is capable of carrying upwards of 18,000 pounds of weapons, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, and various bombs. Like other interceptors of its time, the F-4 was designed without an internal cannon, which was incorporated into later models. Starting in 1959, it set 50 world records for in-flight performance, including the records for absolute speed and absolute altitude. The F-4 was used extensively during the Vietnam War and served as the principal air superiority fighter for both the Navy and Air Force. It became important in the ground attack and reconnaissance roles during the later part of the war. Number 4. AV-8B Harrier II the AV-8B Harrier II is a single-engine ground-attack aircraft manufactured by Boeing. It was designed in the late 1970s and has the unique capability of vertical or short takeoff and landing. Named after a bird of prey, the Harrier II is typically used for light attack or multi-role missions ranging from close air support of ground troops to armed reconnaissance. This aircraft is used by the United States Marine Corps, the Spanish Navy, and the Italian Navy, while a variant of the AV V-8B, known as the British Aerospace Harrier II, was developed for the British military. The creation of the AV-8B is the result of a project that started in the early 1970s, cooperative effort between the United States and United Kingdom, with the goal of addressing the operational inadequacies of the first-generation Harrier. The earlier AV-8A's capabilities were intended to be dramatically improved by the incorporation of a powerful, revamped Rolls-Royce Pegasus engine. However, due to budgetary constraints, the project was abandoned in 1975 by the United Kingdom. Following the UK's withdrawal, Boeing designed the AV-8B as an extensive improvement of the AV-8A. The new aircraft retains the general layout of its predecessor, but includes upgraded technologies such as a new wing, elevated cockpit, a redesigned fuselage, and other aerodynamic improvements. It's also powered by an upgraded version of the Rolls-Royce Pegasus engine which is what gives the aircraft its vertical takeoff and landing abilities. In November 1981, the AV-8B made its maiden flight, and in January 1985, it entered service with the U.S. Marine Corps. And that's about the same time it became my favorite aircraft. Seeing it take off vertically like that is just super cool. Number 3. F-117 Nighthawk Formerly operated by the U.S. Air Force, this Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk is a single-seat, twin-engine attack aircraft. It was the first operational aircraft to be designed around stealth technology, and although it was commonly referred to as a stealth fighter, the F-117 was used strictly as a ground attack aircraft. The development of the aircraft began in 1975, and the following year, DARPA, or the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, issued a building contract to Lockheed. Lockheed Skunk Works for two stealth fighters. In response, Lockheed developed two jets in record time, 
at a combined cost of $35 million. The F-117's maiden voyage occurred in Groom Lake, Nevada on June 18, 1981, and it was introduced in October 1983, but it was kept secret from the general public until 1988. In fact, even most of the Pentagon's top government officials were unaware of the project prior to its reveal to the public. It played a large role in the Persian Gulf War in 1991 and was used throughout the Yugoslav Wars, which lasted from 1991 to 2001. The F-117's unique design, which looked unlike any previous fighter jets, perplexed even the most experienced military pilots, including a British Air Force pilot who actually laughed upon first being presented with a photograph of the aircraft and was convinced there was no way it would fly. But he wasn't laughing for long. This supersonic jet has an impressive top speed of 623 miles per hour at high altitude and a max climbing rate of 2,820 feet per minute. And it was designed to be unstable. To maintain controlled flight, the aircraft requires constant corrections by a fly-by-wire control system. Out of the 64 Nighthawks that were ever produced, only one was ever lost in combat. This happened in 1999 in the former country of Yugoslavia. The U.S. Air Force retired the aircraft on April 22, 2008, after more than two decades of faithful service, and replaced it with the F-22 Raptor. Number 2. Kamov KA-52 Hokum B Also known as the Kamov KA-52 Alligator, the Kamov KA-52 Hokum B is a multi-role all-weather attack helicopter used by the Russian Army. It's a two-seat version of the KA-50 and is capable of being operated during both day and night. Development began in 1994, and in 1997 the prototype was flown for the first time. In 2008, after being ordered by the Russian military, small-scale production started. Only 30 of these helicopters were delivered by 2012. However, due to budgetary constraints, and by 2017, 90 were reportedly in operation. The Alligator has also been manufactured for export, and in 2017, Egypt accepted delivery of a naval version of the helicopter. 12 have been ordered by Algeria and are expected to be delivered this year. Both pilots have full control of the helicopter and are seated side by side, an arrangement that makes work during combat much easier. It's equipped with a battlefield management system and can exchange messages and information with other helicopters as well as third parties. The Hokum B also detects targets and is armed with a side-mounted cannon and contains six hard points for the mounting of various weapons, including bombs, anti-tank missiles, and air-to-air -air missiles. Number 1. Eurofighter Typhoon This multi-role fighter aircraft known as the Eurofighter Typhoon claims to be the most advanced in the entire world, delivering what the company claims to be an enviable level of flexibility and efficiency. It can carry up to six bombs and six missiles at the same time, as well as a cannon and targeting pod. The aircraft is also designed with superior technology and in a way where it can easily be upgraded and expanded in the future, as aviation technology continues to advance. Thanks to this capability, the service lifespan of the Eurofighter Typhoon can theoretically last for decades. To deliver a low radar profile and strong frame, the aircraft is built with advanced composite materials, and only about 15% of the frame is made out of metal. From the earliest stages, pilots assisted with the design to develop a frame that flies effectively despite being deliberately unstable, giving the aircraft the ability to be highly maneuverable at subsonic speeds and for supersonic efficiency. This combination of characteristics makes the Typhoon ideal for a wide variety of combat scenarios. Thanks to reliable and advanced monitoring technology, this aircraft is equipped with engines that deliver 1,000 hours of flight time without needing any unscheduled maintenance. Well, thanks for watching! Which one of these military aircraft was your favorite? Be sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.